now it's a time to creating heterostructure of graphene and boron nitride and uh, this will be a very interesting thing so let me just show you the mono layers and in the previous video we have created the mono layer so those who have not watched this video please follow the first two part or the part before that video so uh, first you have to drag this file to vista and the thing is the problem is very i think uh, uh, simple is that uh, we have to just create an heterostructure so i will just uh, first i will just make it to the original because oh, in originally it was one so let me just do it and then we have to just again drag i have just taken it as, as one so that i can just explain it more clearly now the thing is uh, let me just go to the basic so basic is suppose you have two structures which are very like almost similar in their uh, properties or structures so if you compare their lattice constant suppose this is our monolayer and this is our monolayer of graphene and this is our monolayer of uh, boron nitride so if you compare uh, you see this lattice constant is around 2.51 this is around 2.46 so if we compare if suppose if we just put this monolayer uh, this system into the boron nitride system it will because their lattice constant is not similar so it will create a lattice mismatch you can also calculate the percentage of lattice mismatch this just this subtract 2.51 to 2.46 and divide it to 2.51 so it will be approximately around 2% so there is a 2% lattice mismatch Mess, let us miss my so it will create a strain in structure so if you are like the system with a small if, with a lower lattice constant it will try to expand and suppose if i do the other case like boron nitride i try to copy here it will try to shrink itself so it is based on which are your priority like you want like you want an expansion you want in want to shrink your system so before that let me just save this file as an cartesian coordinate which is very important so let me just go and we have to like uh, uh, first we have to just go to this we have to save now in, into the direct coordinates the why i have to share it into the direct coordinates i will just explain it because uh, g i am just giving a gh1 okay now it will be in fraction coordinates so another we have to save file export and we will save it as a postcard file save okay now fractional coordinate so uh, the difference between fractional coordinates and the okay this is not a fractional so we will just graph it so they are respect they are normalized with respect to a box, box position so that is actually a case so uh, the good part is that we can always do it so let me just uh, open these two file which is important actually okay why it is i have we need some space here okay so i will also share one another method method if you just following my video but you have to just keep watching my videos otherwise you will not able to follow it so this is our system and now just make a system uh, I just copy this uh, I will make a copy of this and I will say it is an heterostructure HS I am just saving now just in HS this is our actually a boron nitride system we have to just copy graphene layer coordinates and what we will happen we will see okay so now we have the direct coordinates and we can write here C and we can write 2 here now it's our heterostructure I will just save it and let me just drag this whole file to Vista now just if we drag it to the Vista you will see this is an overlap no this is not an overlap so we are good to go here only here itself it's a it's a not it's it's a very like uh, in boron nitride you have like uh, 
and but here the problem is you cannot just give the space between two layers so there will be a definite space between those two layers so you can definitely uh, increase the slab but you have to now save it as an xyz coordinate so heterostructure i will just say it's a cart it's in cartesian coordinate then i will just tell you how to just increase the space i, I want it to the cartesian coordinate now let me just uh, have no it's not my file it's actually this is my file so c2 now just suppose we have like there is a difference between three angstrom so let me just make it eight now the dif distance between distance is around seven angstrom you can also add 10 it is based on you i'm just giving you a general procedure so very now see the magic we have the distance now let's change check the distance between two layers okay so we can just go to this option and we can see this and this so we have a difference of 6.5 angstrom which is good you can also increase 10 angstrom and you can also add vacuum size so i hope this is our first first has to structures and other has to structures we i am going to create just you have to follow my channel you have to subscribe and like my channel thank you for watching my videos i am giving my best to help the researcher and please follow my channel and subscribe and share with your friends thank you very much